sensitivity, response, and coordination in plants and uh, animals. In order for living organisms to survive in a given environment, they need to be able to detect or perceive changes in the environment and respond appropriately. So in order for living organisms to survive in a given environment, they must be able to detect or perceive changes in the internal or external environment and respond appropriately to those changes. I was giving, I'm giving you an example of a fish that is found in the Lake Victoria. If the temperature in the water changes, this increase in temperature, for instance, if there is increase in temperature, an increase in temperature can lead to uh, the, uh, the fish dying. So for that fish to survive in that lake, it must respond appropriately to that change in the increase um, in uh, to that change in uh, temperature, and it can do this in several ways. One way is moving away to a region that has lower temperature. That's behavioral, okay? Or it can cause certain other changes in its body okay, that can lead to lowering of temperature, that can lead to lowering of te body temperature. So that is what we mean by, um, by sensitivity. So that one now takes us to the first concept or the first term, uh, and we are getting this from the title of this topic. So that first term is sensitivity or irritability. Sensitivity or irritability. So what is sensitivity? It is the ability of an organism to perceive or detect and respond to changes in the external or internal environment. Sensitivity or irritability is the ability of an organism to perceive or uh, uh, detect uh, and respond to changes in the external or internal environment. Remember what we say in the uh, introduction. We say that an organism must uh, detect uh, changes in the internal or external environment and respond to those changes appropriately so that it can be able to survive in that uh, given uh, environment. So when it is able to do this, we say that uh, uh, it has what we call sensitivity. It, is, it has sensitivity or irritability. The second term that is very important uh, is the term stimulus. Stimulus. Now stimulus, the plural for the word stimulus is stimuli. Okay. Now, what is stimulus? This is the change in the environmental conditions which can produce a change in the activity of the whole organism or part of the organism. Okay. I'm saying a stimulus is a change in the environmental conditions which can produce a change in the activity of the organism, okay? For instance, a good example of stimulus is temperature, change in temperature. That change in temperature is the uh, stimulus and it can cause an organism uh, to uh, change its activity. For instance, by moving away in order to protect itself from the effect of high temperatures and so on. The other, we, we need to know that um, there are two types of stimuli. We have internal uh, stimuli and external stimuli. <laughs>